Hey, it's Tony, Talking Car Biz. Today's vehicle video, this brand new 2022 uh, Toyota Camry XSE Hybrid. This is a uh, follow-up to the gas version, so this is the hybrid. And in today's video, I'm just going to cover the uh, interior features. We'll take a look inside the trunk. We'll dive in the back seat. And we'll also cover the uh, driver's compartment. Be sure to catch video number two. I'll do an exterior walk around. Let's get started. Okay, let's uh, start up front here. We'll start on the uh, driver's door. Show you all the switches and such. So the driver's door is all black and a charcoal black. They use a kind of a gunmetal gray trim down here on the armrest itself. Uh, it is a padded armrest with that contrast stitching that Toyota uses on a lot of their products. There's a brushed aluminum trim here that runs right up into the door handle, so a real nice style for that. Uh, auto up and down on all four windows, and they are backlit switches. They kind of light up in a pale blue color. Power uh, door locks, power mirror locks, power mirrors. There's a speaker in the door, and then there's a bottle holder down here with some pockets. And then on the bottom of the door here, there is a puddle light that... Uh, designed to help prevent you from stepping into a puddle. Uh, take a look in the threshold here. The, uh, there is a, th a threshold plate, but it doesn't say Camry on it. Your seats are eight-way powered seats on both sides, but the driver's seat does have power lumbar support with an airbag in the seat. These are a heated, uh, heated perforated seat, leather, with the racing strap down the center, height adjustable headrest and seat belts on uh, both front and your rear headrest. Over here on the dashboard, there's, there's five switches here. So this is your auto high beam on and off, traction control on and off, trunk release, fuel door release. And then this one has the uh, cold weather package, which really is only just one item. It's the heated steering wheel. There's a little storage cubby down here for your pocket change. We have a tilt and telescoping steering wheel that's right there. And then there's three switches down here and this is your trips reset and your odometer reset and then your dimmer switch for your dash lights. So just a couple of switches and, and gadgets on this side. I did mention eight-way power driver seat. The passenger seat's power as well but it does not have power lumbar support. Let's go ahead and jump in and check out the inside. Behind the wheel of the XSE Camry, uh, it is a really great cockpit. Everything is well within reach. The uh, tablet up here does not obstruct your view and it's big enough so you can see everything you need to see, uh, but without overwhelming the driver's compartment. So. The steering wheel is Toyota's uh, three-spoke steering wheel. This is leather wrapped, and this particular one does have the cold weather package, which really isn't a package, it's one item. It's a heated steering wheel, and the switch is down here for that. But very comfortable padded, smaller, and really easy to see the gauges up front as well. Of course, we have a driver's side airbag, chrome Toyota badging, um, the trim here is more of a gunmetal gray trim, which is uh, similar in, in terms of how it's applied, but the finish is different on an XSE. On an SE, it's more of a silver or a, a brushed aluminum style trim. On the left-hand side, fingertip controls for the information center, which is up here in the gauge cluster. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone. Uh, volume for the sound system and then we also have voice commands as well so a lot of great fingertip controls right here and then over on the uh, right hand side we've got settings for our dynamic radar cruise control uh, lane uh, tracing or departure on and off uh, sound system so you can change the radio stations and then up here are the cruise control settings so the cruise control has been moved from way down here in the older version to up here on the steering wheel. And then on the right hand side here we've got our wiper controls for the front washer wipers and they do have intermittent settings. And then the XSE edition does have 
uh, paddle shifters. So you can upshift here, and then as we go over to the left-hand side, here's the downshift for the paddle shifters. Uh, we also have headlight controls over on this side. Uh, the Camry does have automatic on and off headlights, and then automatic high beams, also part of uh, Safety Sense uh, 2.5. So the Camry has the full 2.5 um, Safety Sense package. Over on the dashboard, there's more of that gunmetal gray trim right here. There's four vents like right here that run across the front of the car and they all have on and off switches. The dash is padded and it does have the uh, stitching in there. That is actual uh, fabric stitching stitched to the dash. Toyota does that at the factory. Looks pretty nice on here. Um, and then the XSE has this uh, kind of a faux metallic trim here as well uh, on the dashboard. So heading back over, we'll take a look at our gauge cluster. I'm just gonna go ahead and start it up, but I did wanna point out on the left-hand side is going to be your um, uh, hybrid monitoring system. On the right-hand side is going to be your speedometer and your fuel gauge. But I wanna start it up so you can see what it looks like when you do start it. The uh, XSE comes with the keyless entry, remote keyless entry, and part of that is going to be the push button start here. So let's go ahead and just fire that up and see what it looks like. And there we go. So it's a white on black backlit display. As I mentioned, this is going to be the charging system to monitor here. There's also the ability to, to monitor it up here on the um, center stack as well. So you've got that animation. And then we have our engine temperature and on the right hand side your speedometer and uh, your fuel gauge. In the center is where we have this huge seven inch information center and right now it's set for the uh, charging system so you can really monitor that in a quite a few number of ways. Out, uh, there's your clock, here's your outside temperature um, and you can see we have blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert turned on right now. And then you can customize or personalize that by going here on the fingertip controls and then you're able to toggle through different settings. That's your tire pressure monitoring system. And then here's where you can adjust your different collision systems and your um, safety settings. So rear cross traffic alert, blind spot monitoring, um, dynamic radar cruise control, uh, pedestrian detection and then we have our lane tracing and you can personalize that to your own liking as we go down further on the menu we've got driving support we've got our sound system settings here's our safety sense so a lot of great things you can do to personalize it to your individual um, preferences so heading over to the center stack and the center uh, console so this is going to be a nine inch touchscreen. Uh, this is the standard sound system, so not the JBL sound system, but it's pretty darn good. Nine speakers, you can see I've got it on the electric uh, monitoring system right now. If I switch over, I can go to my audio, my phone, my apps, all of those things. Um, from an audio perspective, we do have uh, different sources, AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio. Uh, they do provide three months of the Cirrus Premium, uh, I think it's called Platinum subscription at no charge. After that, there is a monthly fee, so just be aware of that. Um, and then as far as the mapping system, you, uh, unless you upgrade to the JBL audio system, you run the, you would, uh, on the base model, like this is a base XSE, you would run the app off of your uh, smartphone versus having the full-blown dynamic uh, navigation system. So as we head down on the uh, dashboard here, or the center stack, here's your uh, four-way flashers or your emergency settings. They do use a lot of the gloss black trim inside here, uh, with, which looks nice, but uh, it also shows some of the uh, fingerprints and dust as well. So 
Um, some people like it, some don't. Let me know in the comments if you like the gloss black effect or if that was something uh, you'd rather not have. So we've got our front window defrost here, our rear window defrost on and off right here, which also activates um, the outside mirror so we can uh, get the ice and snow off of those because they're heated. The temperature system does have a front driver and front passenger uh, individual settings and you can also sync those up together. Uh, and then it does have the energy saving mode which is designed so that if you don't, if there's nobody over on this side, you can actually turn off the air conditioning or the heat so you're only heating the driver's side of the uh, front cabin. Then you can see this uh, gunmetal gray trim wraps all the way down and around uh, the center console. Before I head down the center console though, I did want to show you the backup camera. So it's a nice bright uh, full color screen and it does have the path projection on here and then there's a couple of different perspective settings that you can change as well. Uh, for your own personal preferences, but it's a really great clear easy to see screen Hopefully that'll prevent you from backing into something Heading down further on the center console. I'm just going to throw some light down here so you can see everything So way down low, there's a USB port here. There's a 12 volt charger here uh, Also with the XSE the wireless charging for your smartphone that's right here so you just drop your phone here it's included and then underneath that there's a kind of a hidden storage compartment here as well um, you can also string cables up through here so if you don't have a wireless charging you can run phone cables up through there as well and then the center uh, console itself is that gunmetal gray trim so you don't have the gloss black that we saw up above it turns more into a charcoal or a gunmetal gray two cup holders uh, the front seats are heated and they have three settings, three different heat settings. They are not ventilated on the XSE. And then as we head over here, this is the gasoline uh, version of the Camry XSE. Actually, this is the hybrid version, so this is a CVT automatic transmission as opposed to the 8-speed automatic. But the, the shift uh, lever is uh, leather wrapped. And then we have uh, five different switches down here. This is your eco normal and your sport mode for your um, driving. Here's our parking brake hold. And then here's our EV mode. EV mode is interesting on the Toyota uh, Camry. This is not designed to drive the car in electric vehicle mode. What it's designed to do is, uh, let's say you're leaving your house, you're pulling out of the garage, you don't want to start up the engine, you want to keep the car quiet, you can go into EV mode and it will run on electric only for super short distances. Or let's say you're parked in the garage and you want to finish listening to a podcast. You can go to EV mode, the car will stay running, it'll stay heated, but the gas engine will turn off so you don't smoke yourself out. So that's really the idea behind EV mode on the Camry Hybrid. And then here's your parking brake. The Camry does have elect electric parking brake and that's how you would turn that on and off. Interesting thing about the, the electric parking brake on the Camry is when you're in park, or I'm sorry, if you have the door open and you try to put it in drive and drive with the door open, um, it will actually stop you from driving. So that, again, another small safety feature, but certainly could be helpful um, if you know if your backseat passengers don't have the doors closed. Could add that level of safety. The center armrest is huge on the Camry. It is uh, a padded, does have that stitching that we saw on the dashboard, and then there's plenty of room for two arms here. Um, so both passengers can be comfortable and then it does open up it's got a super large storage compartment down here and the, there's two uh, charging opportunities so traditional USB and then a USB C and then there's little doors you can close to cover it up if you don't want to use it but uh, two nice places to be able to charge up and get your uh, phone going with wired connectivity Here's a quick look at your passenger seat. 
uh, which is a, a leather seat does have that racing stripe down the center we've got a height adjustable headrest height adjustable seat belts passenger assist grips one of the things I found interesting about the Camry XSE the visors are are fabric wrapped the mirrors don't have any lights on them so no vanity lights unusual but I did want to point that out and then you do have visor extensions on here as well of course we have side curtain airbags up in the uh, a pillar there and then here's a look at the uh, passenger side door with the uh, brushed aluminum trim similar to the driver's door and then our glove box is way down here the glove box does not have a key lock on it so you can't lock stuff up and then of course there's all your uh, owner's manuals in there as well it's hard to see because it's getting light out but there is blue ambient lighting that is underneath here so at night it looks super super cool I like it a lot there's also ambient lighting down on the floor you can just see it shining there in the corner and it's kind of a pale uh, blue color similar to the uh, backlit switches for the uh, power windows and the power door locks overhead there's a uh, sunglass holder right here we also have uh, overhead lighting here these are LED reading lights and then also there's a safety connect right there which is part of the roadside assistance so if you're having issues out on the road you can push the SOS button it'll connect you to Toyota's center and they'll be able to get you the help you need part of the roadside assistance package your rear view mirror is an automatic dimming mirror and then it also has blue uh, connectivity for home links so you can set up three different uh, garage door openers or lighting systems and then it automatically dims as well the XSE edition does not come standard with the power motor if that is an extra charge this one doesn't have it uh, one of the great things about not having a sunroof is you do have more headroom but also if you have no hair on your head like me you're not going to scorch out your the, the remaining area that you do have on your head so uh, so that's a quick look on the inside oh I did want to point out there are speakers up here in the dashboard as well as the speakers down on the doors so a total of six speakers with the standard uh, sound system for the XSE let's go ahead and jump in the back seat and take a look Here's a uh, quick look at the driver's compartment from the back seat. Visibility is really good back here. You can definitely see out the front, really no problem. I don't feel like I'm sitting in a cave, which a lot of cars do when you sit in the back seat. So features in the back seat. There's two vents down here uh, that have an on and off switch, but you do not have the ability to change the temperature. This one does have the rapid charge system down here on the on the floor for your smartphones um, however Toyota charges extra for that and uh, to me that just seems like um, it should be included on an XSE I think it's a hundred and twenty nine dollar option but it should have been part of the basic price in my opinion uh, there's pockets on the backs of both seats and I did want to show you the legroom back here I've got this seat probably three quarters of the way back right now um, I did have to move it ahead because I couldn't reach the pedals with my feet um, which tells you how much legroom you can get in front but in the back take a look at this legroom with this seat about three quarters of the way back that's a lot of legroom very comfortable for a full-size person which I don't qualify for but I am an adult uh, three seat belts in the back child seat safety anchors down here these seats fold down, but 60-40, uh, but you have to do it from the trunk. You can't do it while sitting up front. There's no levers in the back seat. We do have overhead lighting here, so map lights or reading lights, passenger assist grips, laundry hooks, brushed aluminum trim down here on the door, and then there's bottle holders down there on the door as well, and there's speakers on the lower part of the door part of the uh, six speakers I mentioned before headroom is really good back here you can't see uh, me but uh, good headroom good shoulder room especially without that sunroof uh, in the back but uh, very comfortable should have no problem seating uh, five adults back here comfortably 
let's go ahead and uh, pop the trunk, take a look at uh, what's back there. Heading into the trunk on the Camry, the uh, lift over here is nice and wide and open, so if you've got heavy items, it's gonna be really easy to pop those in there. This one does have the bumper uh, protection applique here. That is an extra charge. I'll list the price in the description. But it does have a nice wide opening, and there's plenty of room back here without folding the seats down if you're planning to uh, put in two or three or maybe even four sets of golf clubs The uh, floor on the Camry is nice and low. Of course, it's fully lined On the uh, hybrid edition be behind this door right here. That's your gonna be your battery So if you need to jump start, that's probably the best place to go to do that um, on the gas engine uh, version it is under the hood there's some hooks back here for cargo nets and your grocery bags if you want to hang your uh, plastic grocery bags back here. And then the seats on the Camry XSE, they do fold down. We've got a 60-40 uh, fold down configuration with the uh, releases up here. Now here's something interesting. Hold on, I got something on my lens. Here's something interesting. See that light right there? It's an LED trunk light. Toyota charges extra for that. It's a standalone feature. Check the description for the price, but I think that's pretty ridiculous that you'd charge. I think it's like $50 or $25 or something like that. Come on, Toyota, put it in the price of the car and move on. Uh, sorry for the criticism, but it really. Uh, there is a subwoofer back here, not much of one, and there's some speakers back here as well. Um, but with the 60-40 fold-down seats, there is a lot of... Uh, room and it gives you some extra distance if you need to run uh, garden tools or snow skis or something like that up there The deck lid itself does have a liner on it. So that helps keep the noise down road noise There's an uh, glow-in-the-dark emergency release handle here as well. So that's pretty cool and then your Spare tire is located under the floor little handle here pull this up. It's got a hook on it so it designed to hang up there by itself and the first thing you see is your jack there are some odds and ends trays in here as well and that's wrapped in the super high density foam so it doesn't rattle around and then it is a temporary spare tire under there uh, but there's room for emergency equipment so if you have jumper cables or first aid kit those types of things you should be able to get them under there pretty easily and then that pops out like so and goes right back in there now this one does have the optional um, all-weather floor mat package, uh, which is the trunk mat and then the rubber floor mats for up front. I'll put a link in the description for the pricing on there. I think they're about $249. Strongly recommend those. Otherwise, it does not come with floor mats. So that's the uh, 2022 Camry XSE Hybrid interior overview. Be sure and catch video number two. I'll do an exterior walk around. Hey, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to uh, try to answer those for you. Uh, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you want more like it, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel. This is Tony talking carbiz. Thanks for watching.